Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and this is episode one of Croctober. I am so excited to be bringing on new crock pot recipes every single Wednesday. So come along with me and let's get cooking. It might still be 80 degrees in Texas, but this ham and potato soup is the perfect dish to have you dreaming of cooler weather. The night before, I prepared one cup of diced onions and five celery sticks, along with six small potatoes. If you cut your potatoes the night before, make sure that you place them in water so they do not brown. For the ham, I'm using one cubed ham packet that I picked up at Kroger, and I'm just making sure to break this apart so it's not just one big clump. For your broth, you will need three cups of vegetable broth. With this broth, I had a decent amount left when I was dividing out my leftovers. Add in three cloves of garlic. Seasonings are our basic, onion powder, pepper, garlic salt. We're gonna cook this on low for six to seven hours or until our potatoes are fully cooked. Mine took about six hours. With the last 30 minutes, we are gonna combine two cups of milk to two tablespoons of cornstarch. This will add as a thickener for our soup. Pour this in and cook on high. I did mine for about 10 to 20 minutes, just until it was completely thickened. Once that is complete, you're gonna add in two cups of cheddar cheese and one cup of sour cream. I just let this cook down for maybe about 10 more minutes or so, just until that cheese was fully combined and I didn't see any more of the sour cream chunks. This is definitely a different take than my regular potato soup, but it was still really good. If you watch my freezer meal video, this is the verde soup. I'll make sure to link that video down below. I just thawed this overnight in the fridge and added in four cups of chicken stock. Stir this together until everything is fully combined and cooked on low for four to six hours. Mine took about five hours. Once our chicken is cooked, I just took it out and shredded it with a fork. Add it back in and finish this off with three tablespoons of cornmeal and the juice of one lime. I just stirred this together until the cornmeal was fully combined. Now something about this tomatillo base was so good. I've never had a soup like this. I almost thought it would have a resemblance to my taco soup, but they were completely different. This was so good and I would definitely recommend trying this one. I just added a little bit of cheddar cheese to mine and we had this for leftovers the rest of the week. For this Italian soup, I prepared my veggies the night before. You're gonna need one medium onion, three carrots, and one medium red bell pepper. For our sausage, I'm using one pound Italian sausage from Kroger. Now you can cook it before, but it is not mandatory. So I'm just gonna add everything into the crock pot. For our canned items, you'll need one 19 ounce drained white beans, one 28 ounce diced tomatoes with the juice, and four cups of vegetable broth. Our seasonings are four dashes of Italian seasoning and one tablespoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste. Cook this on low for six to eight hours. With about 30 minutes left, add in one cup of pasta. Now you can use uncooked pasta and let it cook for about 10 minutes in your crock pot, but I just went ahead and made mine on the side. Add in your spinach with a few minutes left and this dish is complete. Now I will say for the Italian sausage, I do wish I would have cooked my Italian sausage before just for the fact of it would have been a little bit more ground up. It did not make a difference as far as it being too greasy. It turned out perfectly fine. Again, from our freezer meal video, this is the beef stew. So I just thawed mine overnight and then we are going to be adding in seven cups of beef broth, cooking this on low for eight hours. I had my parents over this night and I just served this up with some garlic toast. Now my mom did make the mention that it had a very different taste than our normal beef stew because of that Italian seasoning. So if you're not a big Italian seasoning person, this gives it more of an Italian base than a beef stew base. I don't know. You're just going to have to try it out. But after the eight hours, I will say that the stew meat needed to be chunked up a little bit more. It was a little thick, but this was really, really good. 
I could not believe how easy these soups were to put together. Don't forget, every Wednesday of October, I will have brand new crock pot recipes for you guys. But if you need a dessert to go with these soups, check out last Sunday's video of episode one of our fall inspired dishes. And I will catch y'all next Sunday for episode two. Bye.